than the coffee tree. Getting bigger. Look at that. Those eyes. They are getting big. The mantids. The mantids. in the coffee tree. You know, it actually was seeing a praying mantis at work. It snagged a rather large wasp, I think. <clears throat> Perhaps it was a bumblebee, I don't remember which. In any case, it was quite impressive. I think it was a bumblebee. Big one. And it was just amazing that a praying mantis could hold on to something that big. And that bumblebee was not going to get away. And it was going to be a terrifying death, of course. And I thought to myself, I have brought these creatures to my garden, these praying mantises. And I started to think about the idea of a Garden of Eden. And... I started to understand how gardening made you kind of godlike. You had some idea what it might be like to have godlike powers bringing such predators into the garden because you enjoy them, because you want to see them, you bring them in. They do kill some uh, insects that you would prefer they kill, but they would also they also kill insects you prefer they don't kill. Some benefit like a bumblebee or a bee, but they are some of the coolest insects in the world. And so I bring them in, but I'm bringing in something to this little green world that's going to spread some death and destruction for sure for sure and it's only because I want to do it here I am shaping this world bringing in this predator this is adventures in terraforming this is your spiritual connection to what perhaps earth is to some supreme being such as it is you know, <clears throat> definitely got some growing healthy praying mantids 